Discord. And I'm going to screen share. Okay, so it is April 12th and our month is already halfway done. The reason that I chose the second Tuesday of the month is because I wanted us to have that time where it's about to get crunch time. As you know, our goal every month is to have Hit Success Club, which is three people. And I feel like hopefully by now everybody is well on their way. But if they're not, this is the best time for us to get together so we can get in the right mindset and we can get where we're going. And um, I know it sounds like we talk about all the time, but our, our call is on Success Club tonight. As a team, as far as on a call, we haven't talked about that much yet. And, um, you know, I just, I have been doing a lot of listening to calls from top coaches and following other teams and talking to a lot of other teams to figure out what they're doing, what they're doing right. And I want to share that with you. If you are not muted, if you don't mind, um, if you'll click the microphone at the corner so it has a red line going through it, that way we don't um, get the feedback. But at any time, if you do have something that you want to share, you want to add, feel free to unmute yourself. This is not just my call. Okay, so <laughs> some announcements for the month of April. Um, as most of you should know by now, Beachbody has released their app, the Beachbody On Demand app. This is really great because I don't know how many times I, I will be out of town and be like, man, I wish I didn't have to lug my laptop around with me. I wish I could pull it up on my phone. And now if you have an Apple phone, you're able to do that. Mm -hmm. I do believe that there is a $14 fee for this monthly. It's not free, but... For those people who love Beachbody on demand or only want Beachbody on demand, don't want to buy the different programs or use the DVDs, this is a great bonus for them. Um, the challenge group app, hopefully for your challenge groups that you're running, you are using the challenge group app. I kind of have a little bit of a love hate relationship with it. I like that it takes it off of Facebook completely and it makes it its own thing. But I kind of miss Facebook a little bit too. I feel like I'm, I don't know about y'all, but I'm missing some notifications on there. Like I'll get things and I'll go in and I'll be like, oh my gosh, this person posted and I didn't, I, I, I didn't see it. But where with Facebook, it'll come up in my newsfeed. So, I, you know, I think that they're still kind of working the kinks out with that, but I do enjoy it. And I think it definitely opens up our market to people who don't have Facebook. They're able to get of a challenge path. Um, Country Beat is launching its summit. If you were at Super Saturday, then you saw the video about it. And again, like the app, I kind of have some mixed feelings about it because it's just definitely not something that I would have thought I would get if you know if you sign me up. Um, I do love Donnie to know if you went to Southern Miss or we're in that area, if we just held a special place in our heart for Ropers. And when I look at this, I think of Ropers and all the wonderful nights at college that I had there. So that kind of makes me excited about it. Like, you know, maybe I, I can work out with Ropers and get ready for that. I do encourage you to plan on promoting it. It kind of builds our credibility as coaches when we talk about the Beachbody programs. We, I know that I am going to purchase every program that they come out with because I want to be able to talk about them. And I never know who that person is that this is going to be the perfect program for them. Hammer and Chisel is not for everybody, just like Country Heat is not for everybody, but Country Heat may be for that one person who's sitting back thinking, uh-uh, no, I'm not lifting weights. I am not doing cardio. I am not, oh, but they're line dancing. All right, I'm going to do that. And they'll come to you and that that's going to speak to them. And that's going to be what's for them. That's going to make them healthier. Summit. Summit is the last weekend in July. And if you have not registered for that, or you're not on the wait list, I really encourage you to do so. Get there, be there, like Super Saturdays. It's so important to be at those live events, especially Summit. I did not get to go last year because I 
I, I signed up and then it was the next month. So I, I really, I couldn't have gone and I had a one month old, you know, small details, but I, I was not able to go to summit last year, but I was so jealous that I wasn't there alive and I didn't get to hear those experiences. And there's you, they have the wonderful training, and you'll hear the recordings and you'll get notes back from the people that attend, but it's definitely something different when you're there. Now the, there's so many coaches that, do attend summit that they have to break it up into different tracks there is a blue track and there is a silver track and the way that it works is they will have general assemblies you will attend either the general assemblies in the morning or you'll attend them in the afternoon and when you're not at general assembly you will be attending the sessions on the, on the different tracks um so it's all the same content or content it's just different coaches presenting it and I have decided that I am going to do, well, like the dream team, that's our big for, you know, head team is doing the blue track. And then from there, you can choose your different hall. I personally am going to do hall D because if there is a chance for me to hear Brigitte live, I'm going to be there because she gets my fire going like nobody I've ever listened to before. And it's, that's just where I'm going. I know that there are other coaches who are going to do Hall C um, because they want to see people like Bonnie Engel and Amy Silverman. And then also a lot of people doing the Grand Ballroom because they want to be there to support Val. I know how these conferences are, are, you know, we go into teacher conferences. I want you to get out of this what you want to get out of it. I don't want you to pick a track or a, well, pick the blue track, but I don't want you to pick a hall or your presenters because that's what I'm doing. I want you to go and be like, get the most out of it. Maybe you're not a Raina Odell girl. You're more of a, um, I'm looking at somebody else on here. Maybe you're more of a Katie Erster girl and you want to be there because you know that she's the person that you relate to and she's the person that's going to give you that content that's going to boost your business. So, um, you know, I do you know, what I would love to have you there in Hall D, but don't feel like that's where you have to be. Cause I know that some coaches are telling their, their, um, their teams that this is where we're going. This is where you need to be. This is what we're doing. I'm just happy you're going. If you're there, you can go wherever you want to. Same thing with the workouts. Um, I'm getting mixed reviews as far as the sack lunches. I have heard that they're really good to get because you don't have to worry about if you're going to have lunch or not. But I've also heard that they're not worth the money and that there's plenty of places to eat. I personally don't really know what I'm going to do yet because part of me doesn't like the sack lunches just make sense to me. They, they're, you know, they're there, they're done. We're, not, I'm not going to have to worry about it, but if they're not worth the money, they're not worth the money. So I'm still, you know, kind of dabbling about that. I'm you just know that it's an option. Okay. The April promotions, y'all should know these. They're posted on the team page. They all come this month with the portion fix. This is a really good promotion for anybody who, you know, I know that like Pio does not come with a, the portion containers and that's, you know, this is a good plus. I, when I run my challenge groups, I, all of my meal plans are based off of the portion control container. So that's just like a little added bonus for that. The ultimate reset is a great thing for someone who is not able to work out or has injuries right now. They, it's a 21 day clean eating. It's basically like the three day refresh but for 21 days and it completely resets your system. But because you're not eating as much, you don't work out on it. So if you have somebody who wants to focus on nutrition, but can't work out because of injuries, this is a really great thing for them. And it's a little bit on the pricier side, but I don't know anybody who has done it that did not get absolutely amazing results and feel like a completely new person. Um, the April push, if you know, you know that if you hit success club five, you will get the Shakeology apron. If you are a top, um, one of the top 250 coaches who hit success club and you are diamond or above, you will get a fast pass to the core line. And if you are the top 750 success club point earners of all of beach body and you're a diamond coach or below, you'll get a fast pass to the core line. And what the core is, is it is a big store full of merchandise that is beach body. And for one, I understand it's like incredible prices where I don't know if you've gotten on the beach body website, but a jacket like $60 at the core, it's supposed to be, like really good prices and people go and stock up 
And when you see people wearing the Pio shirts or the 21 day thick shirts or the hard 22 minute hardcore shirts, that's where they are getting them. They're getting them at Summit at the core. And apparently you stand in line for like an hour to an hour and a half to get into this place. And you have to be there at like 4 a.m. And it's just crazy. But if you are one of these people who fall into the top 250 or the top two 750, you will get the fast pass and be able to get one of the first copies of Country Heat and first pick of apparel. So that's kind of a pretty neat incentive. It gives you a, a big push to get those success club points and rock out April. Okay, so what are we going to talk about on our call? Why success club, leading by example, how to hit success club every single month, and how to teach your team to hit success club, and why duplication is key. Um, hopefully, most of you have seen this image before. This is the secret sauce to being a beach body coach. This is it. If you want to be successful, this is how you do it. Every single month, you hit Success Club, you recruit new coaches, you build your team, and then you teach those coaches to hit Success Club, and you repeat. Why do we hit Success Club? Because it grows your business, it helps you with rank advancements, and it helps people. If you are doing this, you will be a successful Beachbody coach. No matter what, hit Success Club, recruit coaches, teach them to hit success club. So when it seems like every single day, all I'm talking about is success club, this is why, because this is where it is. I want you to be successful and this is how you do it. You hit success club no matter what. So, but why? Success club for Beachbody coaches is our benchmark for growth. I know when I started as a teacher, and I'm a little bit different, I'm not like a classroom teacher. I don't have test scores to show how well I'm doing. When I started, I did not have a clue if I was a good teacher, if I was a good librarian, if my lessons were correct. I was just kinda, you know, shooting darts and seeing what stuck, hoping that I was helping the kids and um, giving them what they needed. And I think that most corporate jobs, I know with Michael's job, he gets an evaluation every year, but it doesn't really tell him if he's getting what, if he's doing what he needs to be doing at his job to be successful. Beachbody gives that for you. If you're hitting success club, if you are putting points on the board, you are doing what you need to be doing. It shows that you're doing your three vital behaviors, that your conversations are working, and that you are you are setting yourself and your business up for success. It also gives you a constant pipeline of customers and coaches. We have every month people who say, you know, I don't want to keep my Shakeology anymore. I don't, I don't want to keep my home direct anymore. And that's okay because you're constantly replacing them by hitting success club. It's consistently introducing the products. You're showing people what they are. With the Beachbody comes out with a new program, I think it's every quarter, and new people are going to come back, and they're going to see that, and you're going to get people, like I was mentioning with, you know, Hammer and Chisel is from one group of people. They're probably not going to be as excited about Country Heat, but the people that like Country Heat probably aren't going to be excited about um, Hammer and Chisel. So hitting Success Club and getting those Success Club points caters to the masses. You're showing that you love the products, that you're using the products. Um, and they're also results driven. If, like I said before, if you are um, hitting success club, I know that you, you, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You can go to bed at night knowing that you're not losing money with this business. Hitting success club will cover your Shakeology, will cover your performance on whatever you have on home direct, plus give you a little bit more. The, I never, ever, ever want my coaches on my team to lose money doing this. When I started as a coach, I said, you know, I will do this until I start losing money. It's not worth it in the end if I'm losing money. But if you're hitting success club, you're not. You're not paying anything. You're not, you're not losing anything. It's not taking away from your family or your income because you're, you're, you're replacing it. You're making what you need to to stay active in the game and be a part of it. Success Club also, with that, comes rewards. You get the trips. You get recognition. Um, if you hit Success Club every month of the year or uh, for 12 months consecutively, you become a Success Club all-star, and that means you get to walk across stage, the stage at Summit. Um, I'm going on the Success Club trip next year because I'll be hitting Success Club every year. We're going to Punakana completely free, me and Michael, and we never would have been going on that trip if it hadn't been for this ever like we hardly 
get to go to Mobile, you know, so to go to the, the Dominican Republic, it's, it's kind of a big deal. So it definitely is something that I know no matter what I'm going to be hitting success club. And it's a, it's a chance to share the business and it's a forward financial movement. I know that if I'm hitting success club, like I said, I'm not in the red. I'm not losing money. I'm building my business. I am replacing whatever I'm spending on my PV and um, I'm adding to it as well. Okay, so how do we hit Success Club every one month? Step one, go for no. I want you to work from lists. I know that when I first started, I kind of just shot in the dark. I would go, ah, I'll just work on my Facebook feed or my messenger feed. I'll go through and see who I'll talk to. It'll never get that big. Well, now that you know I've been doing this, next month will be a year my list is so long that I'm going to I lose people. So what I do is when I first make the connection with someone and send them the message of like, Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how's your life? I'll write them down. And then a month or two later, I'll go back and we'll, we'll, then I'll really invite them into the challenge groups. Um, if I, if you haven't been doing that as long, you don't have that much time to sit and wait for a month or two. So go ahead and start, you know, working the conversations in, but work from a list. Do a, um, a, and I'm having a mental block of what it's called, the list where you sit and, th okay, wh who's my doctor? Who do I know from my doctor? Where did I go to elementary school? Who do I know from this club in high school? You know, and start talking, thinking of different people that you can reach out to. Um, change your mentality switch. The I heard, I think it was Bonnie Engel said this, that when she goes and she talks to someone, the very first time she talks to them, she expects them to say no. She expects them to say no because they don't know. They, this isn't a priority to them. They, they don't get it. They don't know what a challenge group is, but they're probably going to go back to her, their page and see what they're doing and get some more information, but she never expects anyone to say yes. And I'm, I know that there's kind of like a mixed, standpoint from that because some people say go in and it, you know with that they're they're gonna say yes but I feel like if you go for no it kind of softens the blow a little bit when they say no because you're already expecting it and then you can get excited when they do say yes when you're talking to people be interested don't not interesting don't talk about you know you want to share what you're doing but be interested in them be interested in why they want to do this, why, how this will benefit them, talk to them, ask them questions, and they're going to respond a lot about, uh, respond to that a whole lot better. People love to talk about themselves. People love to talk about what's going on in their lives and why, what, what their situation is and what their struggles are, what they're, they're doing well. And I know this sounds ugly, but they don't really care what I'm doing. I know that they don't care. They're gonna, they're nice and they're polite and they're, they are interested a little bit, but they really want to know how that's going to benefit them. Um, work from from lists. You should be doing five to ten invites a day, and, and I do three types of invites. I reconnect, I invite to my challenge group, and then I follow up every single day. Do five to ten of those, not each, just together. Step two: reinforce. One step one with consistency. The reason we post on Facebook three to five times a day is because we're constantly showing up on our feed. I was talking to um, our next month's new coach earlier today about how Facebook's algorithm is. Do you know that they don't like, I think it's only like 40% of your Facebook friends see what you're doing on Facebook. When you're posting three to five times a day, they may not have saw what you did in the morning, but they'll see what you did this evening or they'll see what you did in the middle of the day. Um, you always want to answer questions that a challenger or a coach would have before. I try really hard or have been trying lately to kind of go over misconceptions and objections and that kind of goes over the next bullet in my post. So before someone comes to me and says, oh, I don't have time for that. Well, it's 22 minutes. The program's 22 minutes. I kind of like try to give them a glimpse of the program, what I'm doing, how I'm able to do it, working full time with two little kids, with a husband, with all the obligations that I know all of us have. Everybody's busy. Everybody's busy. And everybody likes to eat. Uh, delicious food that's not good for us. And everybody, I mean, 
that I mean, and then the price objections to go over that as well, because I know that that's a big one as well. Um, but try to go over this. One of the things that I try to do is I try to talk to my next challenger. Who is the person that I want to sign up with me? I, I decided that I really want Jesse Jones to sign up for my next challenge group. So all of my posts are talking directly to her. And chances are if they're talking directly to her, and she doesn't know it, they're going to be talking to someone else as well. And then cross-posting, this is something that um, I'm still trying to learn a little bit more about. But you don't have to rewrite the wheel. If you are posting on Facebook and you're posting on Instagram and you're posting on um, Snapchat or Twitter or whatever your favorite social media is, just use the same posts. I have right now, I'm trying to build my like page. So I, whatever I put on my Facebook page, I'm putting on my like page because as I'm building that, my like page, those people aren't my Facebook friends. These are just random Joes and average Joes that have connected with me on my like page, have been attracted to me on my like page, and they're not going to see the stuff that I have. So don't feel bad about having the same post on two different things. Okay, follow-up is key. From, make a list of follow-ups. As people are telling you no, leave them on that list. Sometimes it takes people seven to eight times to say yes because they're just, it's, it's when the time is right. When someone tells you no, it's not no, it's not, it's just not right now. I have, I can think off the top of my head, probably 12 people that have signed up with me that initially told me no, but came back around. They, it was either for money reasons, they needed to save money for it, or they, they really didn't have the time, or there was some kind of hang up that was keeping them from signing up. But if I keep following up with them, I will, um, they'll eventually come around. Or they'll, you know, it's, it keeps you in your mind, in the, it keeps you in their mind because they're not going to go to the gym when they, they're ready to get healthy. They're not going to sign up with someone else who's doing a network marketing because you're the one that it keeps checking in on them. And by following up, what I, how I do that is I will say, you know, hey, I know you were interested before, but the time wasn't right. Are you interested now? But I try to make sure, and this kind of goes down to the bottom, I try to make sure that that's not all we talk about. I try to add value between the first message and the follow-up. So let's say that when I talked to Bridget, she told me that one of the reasons that she really didn't want to do it is because she loves Diet Coke, and she is just not ready to give up Diet Coke. So, you know, that's okay. The time's not right for you. So a few weeks later, I will send her, like, hey, I found this at the store. Have you tried this carbonated water yet? It still gives you the fizz that you, you like that, you know, I know that people like from Diet Coke, but without the chemicals and the, the things that are bad for you in that Diet Coke. So it it's free. That's adding value for free. It's showing them that you care about them as a person. You're not just trying to sell them something because that's really what we're doing. We're not selling. We're trying to help the person. If they do tell you no, ask for permission later to follow up with them. You know, I understand that the time's not right with you now. Is it okay if I follow up with you in a month or two? Is it okay for me to um, reach back out to you? They may tell you no, take me off your list. I don't want to hear from you again. But more times than not, they're going to say, yeah, sure. Just, you know, let me know um, in a few months and we'll see. I know that there are some coaches who check in every single month with their challengers. I think personally, my personality type, I think that's a little pushy. But um, I do probably every other month. So if Dawn told me no this month, I would wait until June and send her a message and be like, hey, I have a challenge group coming up. But that's just me. That's just my personality type. But you do want to follow up several times. Um, when I think of this, what I think of is I have one of my friends sells Premier, and she was always asking me, Alden, will you do a party? Alden, will you do a party? And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I will do it. I just, you know, this month isn't good. Yes, I will do it, but this month isn't good because we have X, Y, and Z going on. Yes, I will do it. And finally, because she kept following up with me, I, I was able to do it. And I had a very good party, and we had a great time, and I'm so glad that I did. Just like your challengers are going to be so glad that they joined your challenge group and have you as their coach because you're going to help them so much. So one follow-up's not going to do it. You need to follow up several times. And like I said, sometimes it takes seven to eight to nine to ten 
times before they'll actually sign up with you. And I think Julia talked about that at Super Saturday, where it took like a whole year for her people to finally come around and say, okay, yes, I'm ready. Sign me up. Okay, confidence, lock it in. Answer objections with confidence. I know that when I first started, I was not confident at all, and I was scared to, I probably in my first three months, I would rock the conversation, and then they would say, how much? And I would turn to Michael, and I'd say, okay, here it goes. I'm never going to hear from them again. And I would, I would send them the message, and it was because it's like, well, you know, it's like, $160, and I know that's really expensive, but I mean, you get all of this stuff, and it's really great, and it's, you're just, it, you just, yeah, I didn't sell it, sell it with confidence. Now, when someone asks me the question of how much is it, I will say it's on sale for $160, but look at all this awesome stuff you get. Man, this is such a deal. You get the containers, you get the Shakeology, you get the meal plan, you get the you know, I'm selling it with confidence because I believe in this product. I know what this can do for me. Even though I knew that at the beginning, it scared me to tell people that because I, I didn't want it to be about money and I didn't want to sell and it just, the whole thing made me uncomfortable. But the more I've gotten used to it and the more I realize the value of how awesome what we're doing is, I realize that they're not, they're getting the program for free. They're getting the Shakeology for free. They're paying for me. I'm giving them value. I'm giving them the meal plans. I'm giving them the shopping list. I am worth every single dime of that. And I have the confidence to tell them. Remember, we're looking for people over points. I heard a, um, somebody share something that I was listening to yesterday. And they said to think about our business as farming versus hunting. A farmer goes out and plants the seeds and takes care of those seeds and hopes for a good crop. And some months they have good crops and some months they have tough crops. But no matter what, they're going to lay those seeds and they're going to take care of the seeds and they're going to build those relationships and they're going to take care of the people and add value to the people that they are building the relationships with. And hopefully they'll come around and be a very profitable crop. Hunters go out and seek. Uh, the, the example that they gave was that they, you know, um, he was talking to somebody on Facebook about running and said something like, man, I wish I had the energy that you had. And immediately he got a message and immediately he got a friend request and he thought that was kind of strange. So he looked at the message first before he looked at the friend request. And this person who did not even look at his page yet did not even know his name, wrote him this long message about how he needed to buy this product because it would help him do this and this product because if he wanted to be a, a runner, he needed to do this. And he was like, whoa, hold on. It made him realize that, that that salesperson was sitting there looking for that, looking for that person to say, man, I need a diet this week or man, I need it. They were hunting their people. Now, that being said, no matter what, we need a hit success club and we need to find our three people no matter what because that's making us successful. But we do need to remember that we're not going out to find, to get Success Club 30 because we need the points. We need to help the three people because that's our job as Beachbody coaches. Never leave conversations on a bad note. Um, I think that kind of speaks for itself. If someone tells you no, don't be like, well, so what? Forget you this month. I'll be back around. Don't you worry. I'm coming for you. Like, you know, say, just leave it on a good note. And then consistency is key. And okay. So your call to action, ask yourself, am I consistently adding value? Go evaluate your posts. Are you adding value to people? Are you sending them messages and adding value in the private messages in your conversations? Um, am I posting like? Am I being the type of challenger that I'm looking for? Am I being the coach that I would want? Identify your weakness and work on them. Um, I know that my we when I, I, I have lots of weaknesses, but one of my weakness right now is I'm really focusing on growing my team and recruiting coaches. So what I have been doing is I get up every day and I listen to one call about recruiting coaches and then I implement it. I have found my weakness and I am working on it. 
If your weakness is inviting, go on to YouTube. There is 692 beach body videos about inviting. If your weakness is conversations, get on and find those. I can help you and your upline coach can help you, but you're going to, you're going to be able to implement a whole lot better if it's information that you're absorbing and that you're doing on your own. So you truly YouTube is your best resource. Go and listen to those calls. Let those be your personal development, but find your weakness and truly work on it. Um, am I hitting success club every month? We, today is the 12th, that right? Yep. Today is the 12th. You have plenty of time for the, the rest of of the month to get there. That's three people. Hopefully you've been planting those seeds. You've been cultivating the seeds. You've been working on your gardening for the month. Um, even if it gets down to the very last second of the month, make sure that you're hitting success club. And if so, am I making it easy for my team to do so? If there's something that I could be doing better to help you get to success club to get your three people, if we could talk about, you know, if I could talk about more things on the page and also if you going back to finding your weaknesses, if you find something that you think would be very valuable for the team, please share it for everybody. Um, I know that toward, after the 15th, we do our success club blitz and I do our success club pods where I put you in with people who are at the same points as you. So we can work together and we can push together because we are a team. Our team is only as successful as our weakest link. And we want to work together and make sure that everybody is being successful and everybody is hitting success club and everybody is working toward their goals. I, I know I say this all the time, but I know that when you became a coach, you signed up for a reason. You had a goal in your mind, and it was probably backed by finances. And I know that if you're not hitting success club, you're not working toward those goals. And that's when people kind of quit. And sometimes they quit too soon. But if you're hitting success club, you're getting closer to your goals. You're getting closer to making your why a reality. And that is all that I have. We have, I think, like – five minutes. Does anybody have any questions? I see somebody in the chat. Memory jogger. Thank you, Jesse. Yes, memory jogger from like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> that's, where, that's the list where you write things down. Um, Brooke, do you have a question? To me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I know that I said something to you about the Shakeology group. Mm -hmm. um, the one which I haven't gotten your email yet. I don't know if it's just not come through yet, but um, was that like a two week group or was it like a longer group or what? It was a one day group. It's called a shake off. Okay. And what people do is they'll buy the sampler where they get the different flavors each um, or the seven packs of this each of each flavor and drink them one a day and give them recipes and just kind of give them, it's like a sneak peek to Shakeology, but okay. you could do them longer if you wanted to like do a 30 day group. See, that's what I was thinking about. And we talked and you told me you had something else a little bit in mind, but okay. the script still could give you something to maybe talk about and help you build that. Cause I was thinking like if I did kind of either like, a 30 day group or like a 21 day group or something like that. It doesn't have to be 30 days. I could post a little bit about the different ingredients, kind of like how Brooke does on her, on her page when she posts about the different ingredients. Cause that's really awesome. Thanks Brooke. <laughs> I see she popped on here, <laughs> but um, something like that, just so they can actually learn more about Shakeology and for myself too. So I can learn more about it. Um, but that was kind of what I was thinking about. But like I said, I haven't got your email yet. So hopefully I'll get oh, it. I'll have to check it. I don't know why I didn't send. I'm sorry. Uh, did you send it Gmail or my AT&T? Gmail. Okay. That's fine. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll check it. If okay. not, I'll send it again. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Anybody else? Everybody feeling good about this month? Dawn shaking her head. Okay, it's going to be a great month. If there's anything I can do with, for y'all, or if y'all want to do, like, my, my kids go to bed every night. They're asleep, you, well, sometimes, not tonight, by 8.30. If y'all ever want to get on and just work together, like, if, while you're having conversations, work together as a team. And, you know, I can do the open 
just open up a Zoom call and we'll sit on and if the time runs out, we'll close it out and we'll open up another one and just get on and work together. Um, Cause sometimes it helps to work in an environment instead of working on your own. But um, y'all let me know if you want to do that. I'm always available and we can get together, work as a team, help each other get to success club and find those three people or however many people you have left. But I'm proud of y'all. I'm always proud of y'all. Y'all make me proud every day. And I'm so lucky to have this wonderful team. And I guess I will let y'all go. I guess it went a little bit longer than 30 minutes. I apologize. But y'all have a great rest of the week. And I will see you all soon. Bye.